Hello all, in this video, I am going to discuss a few points based on which you are going to select your reference manager software. The idea of using reference manager software is itself is a great idea. You don't have to bother about the choice of reference manager software because whatever the software you use that is going to make your work very easy. But still, if you are in a confusion to select your reference manager, this is going to be the video for it. So first, when you are comparing reference manager software, this is the Wikipedia page where there are plenty of reference managers manager software is available. So the first filter here is that we are going to look at only the freely available softwares and next filter is going to be how effectively the softwares. There are so many softwares in that list say for example Cyta V, EndNote, Mainly, Zotero all comes under this list and there are many more such as Paperpile, Papers, Evernote which you can find. Out of which if you are negotiating between free software and the effectiveness I would ask you to select between these two softwares that is Mainly and Zotero. Both are free softwares without any restrictions for certain storage space that that is mainly allow you to store up to 2 GB free and this storage is very huge on the other hand Zotero allows only 300 MB free and the additional storage space you need to pay both mainly and Zotero are using cloud-based platforms so that you can access the platforms from any device which you want so both of which have a login ID, so you can create your own account and from that account you can access your references or the citations from any device I am making this video nearly at the end of 2023. For downloading both of this, you need to download the Mainly Reference Manager software and also a web importer. So this is called as Mainly Web Importer. So you can see the icon here. Depending upon your web browser, you need to specifically download this web browser. Then after this is the Mainly site specific to the writing document where you prepare the manuscript. So if it is Microsoft Word, then you need to download this site specific to Microsoft Word. So which I have done here. We need to do three essential downloads same way Zotero also functions same you need to download the main software then a web connector here it is called as web connector so you need to download the web connector specific to the web browser then if you do these two downloads the software will appear like this so this is the exact comparison of mainly reference manager and Zotero how mainly reference manager and Zotero appears so basically there will be three panes available here so by default these three panes will be available in Zotero so all your folders and other options will be available here. The list of all citations or references will appear in this pane with all the details necessary for referencing that particular reference and you can manually edit this details of the reference by altering the data. This data will be extracted from either through PDF or through DOI or through web importer. So this function remains same in both Zotero and Mainly. If you click on this then that pane will appear. So here also you can correct the information or add additional information, correct the previous existing information for each and every data. So both these appearances will remain same. What is collections in Mainly is called as folders in Zotero and in both places you can have groups. So that is the basic appearance of these softwares. But when we are using this, what are all the major difficulties, advantages and disadvantages with these softwares? The first and foremost point is the reading tool. When this Mainly Reference Manager was previously as Mainly Desktop, there the reading tool was excellently good and definitely people would rate mainly reference manager over this Zotero. But now with the recent improvement, Zotero also made very effective reading tool so that it can match up with the mainly reference manager. So basically it has all the necessary options when we are reading the article. So basically you can highlight, you can add a note on that place and you can take a screenshot of an area and you can do many other essential functions when you are reading. Currently Zotero is a matching tool for reading your references. Now let me show how reading an article in Mainly Reference Manager appears. You need to click this option that is file available for download. Then if you click that, that article will get downloaded. So there also you can highlight, you can add a note and the basic functions remains the same. So when it comes to the reading tool, there is a slight extra edge for Zotero Zotero nowadays. Previously, this was fully overshadowed by Mainly Desktop, but now Zotero has improved on this aspect. Now we move on to the next aspect that is referencing in the word. So now let me open this word document. When I want to do a citation here, what we need to do here is in Mainly site, we need to click on this Mainly site icon, then insert citation, that's all. And before which we need to ensure that reference which we are going to cite is appearing. So for that, we need to manually update it from library. But the synchronization for the Mainly reference manager appears automatically. But this update from library, you need to manually do it. Then only this references will appear here. So 
once this reference appear in this pane then what you can do is you can insert citation so this process is going to be very easy and smooth without opening any other dialog you need not go to mendeley reference manager software or do any activity in that mendeley reference manager software but when it comes to zotero what you need to do is you need to go to zotero if you are clicking add or edit citation then it will take you to the window of zotero there you need to select this citation and then only the citations will appear in zotero so it is a little time consuming when you do that in zotero compared to mainly site now the most important thing is how is the easiness of work when we add more number of references in my personal experience when i am using zotero i am experiencing few errors when when i add citations more than 60 citations in the same article on the other hand even up to 100 references for a single manuscript i am not finding any difficulty with mainly site so our second preference that is adding reference and adding as many number of reference i would prefer mainly site over zotero then if you compare the pricing mainly reference manager you can store up to 2 gb free and here in zotero you can store only up to 300 mb free beyond which you may have to pay about 20 dollars per year for storage of up to 2 gb almost it will be same or slightly high in case of mainly so that's the third point about the pricing now fourth important point which i am going to tell about these reference softwares is about the duplication of references so when we are doing almost more than 100 references in a manuscript we may forget that one particular reference would have been cited in the initial part of the document and again it would have been cited in the later part of the document this is called as duplication issue and this duplication issue was previously sorted out by mainly desktop very effectively even today zotero is doing that effectively so this duplicate function is there when you click on this duplicate function automatically there are so many duplicates appearing in the reference list so once you click that it will ask for merging of two items so if you again click that automatically those two repeated references or duplicated references will be merged likewise you can one by one merge as many as duplicate references and it will automatically reflect in the document on the other hand if you go to mainly reference manager initially there was no option such as duplicate available this duplicates are matched based on the doi but here in zotero and in previous mainly desktop this was based on the matching of other details also which effectively could match all the duplicates so here the matching duplicates itself is not effective and even after identifying this two duplicates here there is no option to merge that references you can just identify these are all the repeating or the duplicating reference in the list so then you need to manually check whether this reference is appearing again in the list so this duplicate option which is present here is going to be identifying the problem but not solving your problem here there is one more beautiful thing about zotero is about this retracted items that is if you click on this retracted items whatever articles in my reference list has been retracted will get updated into the zotero and these references we will avoid them in citing in our own manuscript if you go here and click this work will be retracted for the following reasons so this retraction update will be given by the journal so based on that zotero will give alert to remove this reference so that we can avoid citing or referring those article in our own manuscript the other advantage of zotero is that when we are using zotero beyond your microsoft word that is if you are using it in google docs then you can use this zotero you can use this zotero here you can click on this zotero same way how in word document we use this icons the other advantage with the zotero is when we are adding a reference suppose if we are clicking add new and add entry manually when i look at the type of references these are all the specified type of references almost some 15 types of references are available on the other hand if we are working in zotero if you click here there are more than 20 types of references you can incorporate into zotero reference manager this is a slight upper hand for zotero over mainly reference manager but remember both mainly and zotero use csl editor you can change reference style by checking my previous videos if you want a new reference style which is not specified under the directory of mainly reference manager and zotero then you can use csl editor for that purpose and you can create your own tailor made referencing style based on your own needs that also you can use those two csl editor videos for zotero and mainly reference manager is available in my video collection so you can use that so changing reference style is easy but the type of references when you are adding here within this specified list only so with these factors zotero is a better option for you to consider especially if you are a small researcher doing very few number of research projects if this duplicate option is very good and you are using a large number of references in your manuscript 
and large number of research projects, then you can go for this Mendeley Reference Manager. Provided in future, this duplicate option is going to get effectively functioning with merging the reference option. So this is the comparison between Mendeley Reference Manager and Zotero. So thanks for watching this video.